Okay, this is update number three, I believe. Something like that. I did the second update after the drywall. This is paint time. So everything's been primed and the ceiling actually has its two coats of white paint already. Same thing with the bathroom and same thing with the closet. And we actually do have first coat of paint in the closet is what we're working with. Closet, bedroom, both gonna have the same color paint. Man, that first coat, it almost seems like we only need one coat, it's crazy. It's covered very well, but there's itty bitty little spots. Uh, doors, so we actually made, we, yeah, there is one thing during quarantine that I have a lot of, and it's time and something that I don't have a lot of, and it's money. So our pocket doors, we looked up different websites. I don't have hardware on it yet, but we looked up different websites to find a door. I guess this is shaker style door. And this door, pretty much exactly what we made, was like $300. And we've got plenty of tools. I went out and bought some wood from Lowe's and made that door and that door and this third door. So we made three, three doors for a grand total of $150 for materials. Time-wise probably took, how long do you think it took to make these? It probably took on like the saws and stuff, getting everything cut down and milling everything, probably like two hours. Total, yeah, total of five hours of labor, and it would have cost $1,000 for three doors, and we paid 150 So that was a huge win in my book. Um, we'll see once these get done and put in, but that one came out very well. So we're moving on to finishing up painting. Uh, the bathroom, all drywalled out. We don't have a tub yet. The tub has been ordered, and it will go in here. Oh! Another thing that we did, huge thing. I'll have to put some time lapses over to show like actual work, but we built our vanity cabinets and everything. That's what all that is over there. So we changed up the setup that we had. The original setup that I talked about in episode one, totally abandoned that. And so essentially what we're going for now is one vanity over here, one vanity over here, and then the cabinets going in the middle here. And then we'll do mirror here, mirror here, vanity light there, vanity light there, um, with the smaller cabinet in the middle. So I'll go out and show you the cabinets, but we made the cabinets in one weekend. We've got some experience making cabinets. We did our whole, we did all of our kitchen cabinets, so we've got them pretty good. I mean. With a Craig jig and some decent plywood, you can make awesome cabinets, I guess, and the right tools as well. So how about this? Craig jig, table saw, and some decent plywood. We'll go with that. So this is one of the vanities right here. So a sink will go in here. I'll probably have to notch that a little bit. The other vanity is over here. The center cabinet is this guy. And you can see here, uh, one of these vanities will butt into the side of this guy, which is why we didn't paint down here. And then it'll actually stick out in front of this vanity a little bit. Hopefully the same countertop, it'll go across the first vanity. And then you'll have, this guy will be a little bit higher and then it'll go back down to that guy. And then this big cabinet right here will sit on top of this one. I'll try to find the drawing that Christine made and like put that up on the screen so you can get an idea. Um, this is the backs of all the doors and drawers. So just simple shaker style, just like we did in the kitchen. So this is our biggest door that we have. They've been primed, have not been painted yet. Made all those the following weekend. So that stuff is coming right along. And I think the tub is probably two weeks out from being delivered. And then we're not gonna put in any of the cabinets until we get the tub in. I think it would all fit fine, but I just wanna have the bathroom totally open, get the tub totally installed, and uh, we need to order like all the finishes and stuff so that we can start cracking on this bathroom as soon as we get that tub. Because once we get the tub, we'll get it all plumbed up. 
Um, and then we will try to go hard on getting all of this tiled. So I have been looking and I haven't settled on anything yet. So if you've got recommendations, please let me know. But a good wall system. So I've seen like at the big box stores, they just carry like hardy um, and cement board, which I think for all intents and purposes is fine. But there's a lot of different products out there. I think there are some ones that are easier to work with. I've seen some stuff that's like foam core board that it looks like. I'm very interested in that. It looks easy to work with. But if you've got experience in this, please let me know. Because what I'll probably end up doing is just doing that hardy board because I don't know any better. And then we'll get everything tiled. So it's coming right along. And uh, once we do the tub, we'll get the vanities in next. Then we will tile the floor and tile all of this stuff put our toilet in and we'll be really close, really, really close. Today's one of those days, it didn't feel super productive, but we actually got a good bit of stuff done. Went to the store, picked up crown molding, casing, and Christine painted all this crown molding today and the casing for the doors and also some base. So we've got pretty much all the base, crown and casing ready for master bedroom, bathroom, and closet. So let's go see what we did today. We had to move a lot of stuff out into the hallway. Pocket door. Doesn't have hardware on it yet. It's a mess in there. Okay. So today we put up an accent wall. And really the reason we did this wall is because this is just leftover flooring on the, uh, so this is the exact same wood here and here. But this is uh, one side of it and this is the other side. So the flooring that we got is like five and an eighth inch thick. Oh, and if you can see here, one side of it has a V groove on it and the other side is flat. So this is the floor, that flat side like that. Oh man, so put this whole guy up today. I think it looks awesome. Man, Christine, this would make a great studio background. <laughs> I can just hijack our bedroom as a studio. My favorite I love the way that this looks, just the natural. And uh, Christine wants to paint it white, which is gonna be we have to sand it, fill it, prime it, and paint it twice, which I don't want any part in doing that. It looks awesome though. I really like the way that it came out. So this is what I did today, other than go to the store and Christine did a bunch of painting. And uh, we got one coat on the walls last night, one coat in the bathroom last night, and Christine, I think, finished the closet. Was it last night? Yeah. So closet is, finished being painted, needs shelves and all that stuff. And then one more coat of paint out in the bedroom, one more coat of paint in the bathroom. And uh, maybe I can win on this wall, we'll see. Oh man, I just love the way that it looks. I'm gonna get back some, let you take a look at it. Doesn't it look great? I love it. This side would be a little better. There we go. Accent wall. I didn't put a strip at the very bottom because the base is gonna go down here. And then I didn't go all the way to the ceiling because crown is gonna go up there. Close enough. Pretty good, right? And we had, we have a bunch of scrap boards left over, but we only have like three full length, eight foot uh, planks left. So this kind of worked out pretty much perfectly and we didn't even plan for it. Mm. I think Christine's gonna do the other coat in here, either now or tonight, something like that. Definitely low energy, I'm worn out today for whatever reason. But 
progress.